What's my favorite molecule? Water! Yeah. 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 Now, as we said, water is a, is a perfectly happy molecule. It sits around in the oceans in your body forever. And perfectly happy the way it is. But you can ruin its day in another way, too. If you add energy, you can actually break it up into its constituent gases, hydrogen gas and oxygen. And that's exactly what we've been doing. While we've been having so much fun and talking about science, and you've been a great class and a lot of fun. But, but uh, right up here, we've actually been doing that with two flasks of water with a little bit of baking soda for conductivity. We're running electricity. You can see these wires. Here's a voltage source. We're running electricity through this water. That's a process called electrolysis. And we're actually adding energy to the water, breaking up a few of the molecules. <clears throat> into hydrogen and oxygen, which are both gases. And that's what's causing the bubbling. This bubbling up is hydrogen and oxygen gas. It's coming up and filling this balloon very robustly. <laughs> and this balloon is something else. Yeah. Um, OK. So hydrogen and oxygen should scare you, because it is rocket fuel, right? It is what is used in upper stage rockets for this day. So. Um, and has anybody heard of the Hindenburg disaster? Oh. Your homework, you knew there had to be homework, right? Is to go to Wikipedia the Hindenburg disaster. Because a long time ago, because hydrogen is element numero uno, as we talked about before, it's super light. It's the small, lightest atom in existence, right? So it, people thought it was a great thing to build balloons out of, basically, the original Zeppelins, and lifted things with it. They eventually concluded after this disaster, it's probably just too dangerous to work with. But so anyway, that's what, that's that's one thing hydrogen used to be good for. But it actually is rocket fuel, and so it's 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 extremely dangerous and toxic. But it's also a potential fuel source. Yeah. It's flammable, right? And it's very it's flammable. flammable. Yeah, exactly. Well, we're going to see that because indeed, what we have in these balloons is hydrogen and oxygen gas. We have premixed rocket fuel. I get a shudder every time it's this. It's just nuts. <laughs> Who allows this? <laughs> All right. So, um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to actually pull these balloons off and tie them off. This is the most sensitive uh, part of this operation. Because if I let them go, psst, and then it's all gone, and then you'll go away and be like, mm. so we hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> so I need everybody to give me a firm lap drum roll. Go, don't stop. <laughs> same one, frankly, that was used in the Hindenburg disaster, and that's a spark. Okay, and if you've never seen one of these, this is a very cool item, it's called the Tesla coil, right? Oh. So the electricity that comes out of your wall socket, it's, 100, it's 110 volts, supports tens of amps, and your parents have been telling you since you're, but we lads and lasses, that it's dangerous and don't play with it. And they were absolutely right, it's extremely dangerous, because that is the perfect concoction to go through your body disturb the electrical impulses of your heart, cause cardiac arrest, and kill you. Whereas 100 volts is bad, tens of thousands of volts is good, okay? So <laughs> strangely, when you go up to tens of thousands of volts and oscillate it very quickly, it goes through the surface of your skin, and it's actually harmless to your body. But that kind of voltage is so high, look at my hand, so I know this door is starting to get this trouble. Um, we got a can here. This is 
such a high voltage that the electrons at the surfaces, those are the things that go around the atom, want to jump away. They want to get away super wicked bad. So if you give them a, a path, like through this metal conducting um, can, they'll arc and they'll create light. Okay. That's going to be our catalyst for this reaction. Yes. It's uh, similar to Jacob's ladder. It's very similar. It's exactly like a Jacob's ladder. We have two very high voltage things crossing in arcs. Yep, yep, yep. That's, that's very similar to that. So that's, that's just a demonstration of the spark we're going to use to initiate this reaction. So um, if I could get somebody to turn that light off. Oh, uh, oh is that the... Oh, yeah. I guess we have to. Oh yeah. Could you go ahead and just turn off the backlight? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna go. Let's we'll see how this one goes. Let's count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one.